Okay, so earlier we talked about the major scale, but we're starting to really get in depth in it now. Not only is there the whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, the steps, now you're starting to understand how the keys work, where you start with the primary note, the root note, and then you do, you know, E would be E, whole, F sharp, whole, G sharp, half would be A, whole would be D, whole would be C sharp, whole would be D sharp, E. But you can also see from reading the books that by having the key dictate what notes are in or the, the key combining you know the root note and the the uh, pattern, that the chord pattern is fairly standard throughout uh, the major scale. So your one note is a major chord, and your four and your five are major chords, and then as you're reading the, the rest of the notes as you go along are minor, 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 and then the diminished chord. We've talked about diminished chords, so you can look at it, it shows the pattern. But you know, you would go C major, which is the one, the two would be D minor, the three, E minor, the four would be F major, G major is the five, and then, sorry, I'm thinking of this, <laughs> six would be A minor, and then your B is a diminished sound. Then you come back to C. So there's a particular pattern that it works like that. Whatever key you're in, whatever major key you're in, your one chord and your four and your five will be major. Your two chord and your sorry, I'm just <laughs> your three, your two, your three, and your six are minor, and your seventh is a diminished chord. And you can, you know, up till now we've been talking about the one, four, five chord. You don't have to do that. You can go one to the six, to the two, you know. As long as you're in key, as long as the notes fit, you can do just about anything. notes were. And as long as you as long as your notes fit the key, it'll work. Now you notice I'm having trouble talking while doing this. You have to actually be doing some thinking while you're playing. Unless you're playing a piece you've memorized. But I kind of enjoy trying to figure it out while I'm going along. If you were in G, then whenever you hit an F, it'd be an F sharp. So then it's there's my F sharp. Yeah, not a 
honestly, I'm not. All I'm doing is just making sure my notes got the scale pattern. And you notice I'm not necessarily playing set chords, I'm just playing notes and finding them. So again, we're back to you need to know where your notes are at, you need to work on your boxes, because if you don't know where those are, you don't have down cold. This is going to be a very painful exercise to work through. So I've been playing 44 years, 46 years maybe, I forget sometimes. And I still do my boxes. And in my head, I'm going, saying the notes in my head, so that I always know where they're at. Oops, what's going on here? So right now, I'm playing in C. There's a B, E, F, G, A, G. As long as you're playing notes that fit the key, you can play anything up and down the neck. You know, if you're in C, as long as you're playing natural notes all up and down the neck. If you're in D, as long as you sharp your F sharp and your C sharp, it's going to work. So give it a try and work on that neck. Work on knowing where all the notes are.